are a part of the Grindhouse Experience Planet Terror 2007. Uh, Robert Rodriguez and Quentin Tarantino teamed up to do one of the tightest movies. To, get, to bring us a taste of the exploitation film era from the 70s, the drive-ins. The Built gore, on tits and gore and action, the props, as we the know. Blood. I just became obsessed with this pre-production of this movie. I thought that Quentin Tarantino's movie was probably going to end up better, but this ended up as our favorite of the two double features that they featured. Shout out to the 13th Wolfman for telling us his drive-in experience and the others. All right, we're gonna, we have a lot to go over in our overall thoughts of this. Yeah, we're gonna break it down. They make it gritty. Scene. It's freaking beautiful. It came out April 07. It only made like 30 million at the box office because movies do shitty in April, I guess. We had to experience it three times for sure. All right, we're gonna jump yeah, we right in. We saw it like four times in theaters. Three times, you douche. I thought it was four. Don't misinform anyone again. What a douche. We're jumping right into hey, it. I'm Shut the first up. douche. Dimension Films logo. All oh, inside. Uh, no, they they do a bunch of they opening do a logos. Normal Dimensions logo. And, and the Troublemaker like, Studios, which is owned by Robert it Rodriguez. In, it does the it's orange, like cheap anime. It does the orange dimension, like orange and black, kind of reddish. Yeah, that doesn't, doesn't come up yet, yeah, you douche. Oh, it does the previews of coming attractions. Wow. It's a gun. That band oh, preview yeah. at first. When it does the intro, like, you know, in between the films, yeah, the previews come up. It's pretty tight. Right it's now. Pretty tight. I'm just saying, it's tight. Then it shows the freaking machete trailer. Elmet's retired right now. Officially a classic by now. Oh, yeah. Cause you, because they originally just made it as a trailer, you know, for this, for the grindhouse. Everyone you know, was feature. laughing when he first saw it. Yeah, but then they freaking they like, made oh, it's the Mexican who's always in those. They made always machete. Always plays the henchman. Into Danny freaking, Trey, you know, yeah. movie. And it was pretty dope. They did a good job on, you know, with the whole border thing that's going on right now. You know, it could play into, you know. They turned it into the freaking movie and it was an awesome script. The machete is just a classic movie. Yeah, that was a Lindsay Lohan double in there too. So for all you, for all you idiots out there, didn't then they added Lindsay Lohan, the legend. <laughs> wow, what's the latest? And that's when the freaking grittiness starts when they do the uh, oil spots on the film and everything. Alright, it's jumping. And then it's just like at the end of it, it's just like brought to you by your friends at the Weinstein Company. The Weinstein. And it shows the logo of no admittance, no restrictions, with the Puma sign. Oh yeah, and it's just like this following film is. Then it finally does the our feature presentation opening. It's exactly. Like we got that. the stack of freaking DVDs. Like oh, a couple the summer this came out, they couple came. Grindhouse. Features. They re-released like double features, and they played the previews with that. I yeah. uploaded a few on JBM Primeval, 2005. Malibu High. The Hellcats. Check those out on JBM 2005, my freaking music channel. Trip with the Teacher, you ever seen that? Well, you can see it. If you own the DVD. So we have it up on Mr. Creep Show, our opening page right now, too. So anyway, then it cuts to the Dimension in red and orange logo. Exactly, and it's the RIP for It's the Robert Planet Rodriguez. Terror for the Planet Terror logo. And it played the music that we just played, no. And it just ended finally. Yeah, it was a little annoying because no, it's but then it, it's it plays the full guitar, track. Like, no, it's a pretty good solo uh, composed uh, track by him. He did all the music. Yeah, he, he thumbs up. You like his guitar solo? I'm sure everyone that's listening to it does. Wow. All right, go. And then it does the grindhouse it's in red same one. No, in bold red colors. It does yeah, the grindhouse. It does the grindhouse it's pretty dope. Oh and then it's the freaking the ripples inside the uh, you know right when the first starts you know. And that's when it does the, the gritty the, film you know. The yellow credits. And then it's freaking uh. Planet Cherry Terror Darling. logo. It's Cherry Darling. Rose Robo. McGowan's freaking go go dancing. dancing. Doesn't even strip to you. Just she's a go go dance. Who goes to that? It. So she's shaking. There's no it. nudity, even though in every exploitation show, movie from the 70s they had nudity. Nah, they don't show Bruce Willis's name. But in it's the still rated R. Either and like they they kept him like a secret. Oh yeah, I remember pre-production for that. You could they, they only do it show, like, like a split the, second in the trailer of yeah, him doing a cartwheel. Trailer at all, really at all, or no. You, know. you could see a silhouette, and I also used to be like, is that 
freaking Bruce Willis. It's like, you know, when you're like fast forward in a commercial. Yeah, and he was. And you'll like see someone's dome, you'll be like, who is that? You'll yeah, be like, is that Ghostface? Seven under wraps runners. that he wasn't in this movie, and then freaking you and saw the Neutrogena and like, it's commercial. And Bruce Willis, and it was pretty dope. And besides, you know, he's the one who killed them line, you know. Yeah, well, Everybody you just spoiled that. the ending for wow. everyone. But Not everyone it. knows that because it's anyway. just the in depth review. Wow. Where we're gonna break it down and tell yeah, over. Spoilers up the bottle. Everyone knows you're not gonna be watching this unless so you're a freaking fan of this Cherry movie. Cherry Darling freaking gets off stage. It ends with her like crying, and it's like a close up cam, and it's like a '70s style shot where she's like crying. It's like the the music playing, like bunch of huge producers involved in this. The Weinstein so Company, Robert Rodriguez, Quentin Tarantino, like, like two chicks making perfect. out, and the freaking owners team to like, bring back the grindhouse like, experience. If you're gonna do that shit, do it on stage. And it's just fucking some hick that owns the club, and he's like smoking. <laughs> exactly, and then he sees Cherry Darling, and he's like, "Hey, I'm gonna fire your ass, but I like looking at your and it's like he's like, like, you know what a go-go dance is? Yeah, it's a Stop happy dance. Stop crying, and she and, he's, and she's like, ah. Uh, and then she reads the script. Happy. No, that's a script convenience paper that she reads. It's just like, hey, flick them off and get your bye-bye slip. Oh, uh, that's a total opening scene scripted for a movie. So then she walks out, takes the hundred-dollar bill that she has in Quits her hand. The, of course, she's quitting nah, he because it's a movie. She flicks them off. She's like, oh, here's my bye-bye slip. And flicks off her boss like nah, nah, she's nah, working nah, at nah, McDonald's nah, nah. or I mean, something. He would have freaking counted out the money. She he wouldn't have let her just grabbed a whole bunch of hundred stacks out of his hand. It's retarded. It's so unrealistic. So she's leaving, of course, it's just a movie, that's what we're saying. So then she walks out of the That's when we club. see the freaking military vehicles. And she's freaking. walking with a shopping bag. She has no ride home for some reason, because yeah, she left got early, no I cars. guess. She, she, uh, yeah, she, she carpools with the other sluts that work there. She's hitchhiking, they all do it. So then the military cars pass by. And that's when we see the she, scientists she, she for the first time. She sees a glimpse of him, yeah, and he's like... He's like an Indian with a bandana. It's like, ding, 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 ding. And she literally rides by, and she falls down and gets, like, cut in her leg in the trash. Even though that wasn't in the theater. And it shows version. the freaking, uh... Yeah, they made this extended for the DVD version. It's hard to remember the, the theatrical version, but when you first see it on DVD, you're like, that's not from the theaters, because we saw it three times in theaters. So you notice things like that, but they it's been military, four years since it came yeah, out, and then so we're not as sharp as base. remembering the cutscenes. They so show the military well base sign. It says two miles let us away. Know. Yeah. And then so that's the infamous scene when they get there. Yeah, so it cuts from her and them right there. It cuts the freaking meeting between Abby. And it's Abby, like a bunch of Abby. stuntmen extras with no lines guaranteed in the scene. It's between Abby no, and No, it's Bruce one of the dopest army. scripted uh, scenes. Rob Rodriguez, he said he wrote this for a video game in the mid 90s, but it was never used. And anyway, so the scientist goes up there and he's just like, What the fuck? You let three of my uh, specimens, the sicko specimens, got loose. Yeah, right when He's Abby, like, Abby, I swear, you're not, you're not even going to see me again. Yeah, Abby gets out and he's just like, What happened to my. And they show the cage, it's all ripped open. Then it's the he's like, he's like, Hey, he pulls out the freaking shank knife and he's so, just yeah. like, I also want to chop No, it's a whole bunch of extras behind him and it's white guys like wearing turbans. <laughs> like they're in Al Qaeda. It's a whole bunch of white guys with turbans wearing them. Oh, and then in the middle of ripping out his balls, they they rip out his balls, and some white guy throws yeah, it on the freaking felt. Out. He's like, no, not even wearing gloves. He just whips out his freaking bloody test. Oh, and in the middle of that, the he's, he's yelling to Bruce, the military. He's like, yo, you don't even need Abby. He's like, I got more DC too. Yeah, you don't need Abby. And it's kind of like a subliminal. Nah, and then they do a the cut message. shot. Nah, they do a cut shot to Bruce Willis sitting in the convoy with his mask on, and he's like listening to him. You know, and Abby shoots him like, and it's a dope gun. Nah, he Death gets scene. out and he's just like the deal. There's still no, nah. and then we see they Bruce use the Willis. guns well in this nah, movie. Now we see Bruce Willis for the first time and it's all quiet and it's leading up to him and he's like, and all the suspense music and he takes off his thing and he's like, where's the shit? <laughs> and he takes he's, off his gas mask. He's like, so iconic. I fucking love this scene. And it's like the funniest thing. Because their DC two tanks are empty and it's going off. Yeah. So Abby, the scientist, is like, "Yeah, the deal's still good." And he's like, "The shit's right there." The deal's still the good. Steel. And he's like, "No, Abby, you held on to me." Because he heard the guy tell him about the, the more stash. DC two that's that's there, and he's like, "Now nah, I want only giving them pinches and dime so bags." Then Abby's he's only like, giving them DC two and like, and and halves. 
<laughs> so then he's like, now I want it all. Yeah, and so then, then in the middle no, of that, no, Abby Ab- shrugs no, and, he, and he fucking like, shoots at yeah, Bruce Abby's Willis. Like, uh, and Bruce Willis is such a marine vet. He's like a fucking green no, gray this captain. Is where they show the blood. And he does the cartwheel from the freaking trailer. No, and he dodges critics, the bullet. Some critics hated the freaking amount of blood that was used in this. But you gotta love it. I mean, if you're not a fan, how can no, you No, that freaking... was just the ratings for them. The, the I'm saying that's with the gay credit. Whatever. That's what I'm saying. Lined up to tone down some of uh, nah, it was the dope. But it was that's an made, awesome usage of zombies. That's and the blood. way they freaking made the movies with the freaking all the blood. And that's how it was, man. And then, uh, so he shoots. So then no, Bruce then Willis dodges him, him and he shoots the extras behind yeah, him. Yeah, he shoots the extras. Nah, the white turban guys. And then, nah, it's the then, freaking. No, the then army guys like start repel. repelling off. They the, start repelling off, off the, the side barn. of the abandoned military base. Like right behind him. It's like a total movie. Oh, and he, and Bruce Willis is also the guy who shoots the guy who who's holding the tank of balls. Even though he doesn't even have a gun, he just shoots him. It's hilarious. He shoots him. And then the jeep out of nowhere, stuntman is driving the jeep, and he crashes into Abby. Yeah, and Abby back falls his body. down, and it's the broken bottom of the balls. There's supposed to be a lot right of unbelievable it. shit because it's uh, it's playing homage to an exploitation movie, right as everyone balls. understands. And Abby's like, ah, oh, and then he falls back, and then freaking Bruce Willis' men hold and him down. And then he walks up, and he's like, he's like, look like I got you, got. He's like, look like I got you by the balls, Abby. Looks like he got you by the balls, Nate he's Dunning. Like, he's, cert- he's like, you certainly have. And the freaking his freaking CGI pus is going out because oh, the yeah, DC2 is they do, taking over yeah, the, most the of his Yeah, they do the effects of like freaking his face all boiling and bubbles, it's tight. And he's just like, I'm gonna ask you one more time, where's the shit? And, and so like, Abby didn't tell him where it was like, at. like, everywhere. Like, yeah, he shoots and a he tank shoots and it the, goes everywhere. He shoots the DC tank, one of them, and it goes everywhere, so all the army walks so through that's gonna, so, so all the toxins go into the air, so but he knows that the that, whole... He knows that the whole county's gonna get. But then up. before that, it shows freaking, contaminated. It shows the extra white guys with turbans. It's your typical zombie. It shows the white guys with turbans going into the gas first, and they get all melted in their face. And all. one of them looks like Bam Margera. It's one of the tightest effects, you know, in a movie. It's real dope. They're all melted and blazed out. And then Willis walks in there, and he breathes the green smoke, and it's an awesome shot. Green smoke. We need green smoke. You know, a movie that is. That's a rock, you fucking yeah, exactly. right. Anyway, so then, uh, the so then, <laughs> yeah, so no, so Abby's getting in the car and he's leaving, but then a zombie like jumps on the hood of his car, like one of the army guys or something, and so he's and he, yeah, and he stops for a second, he looks out, he, he sees have the green gas. Or no, he seen. sees the green gas and he's like, oh shit. He's, he's like, like, oh shit. He's like, no, he's oh, oh balls. balls. <laughs> he's like, oh balls, and because he realizes the gas is gonna get out, it's gonna affect everyone. So then he drives away. But they do a real kite, uh, tight cut down cut, over from the cut bridge down. Cause he's driving over the bridge and he's gonna attack with the guy. He, like put a hand through the, he put his hand through the car windshield. One of Bruce Willis's And then it uh, cuts over guys. while he's going over the bridge to freaking Fergie. And it's Fergie. freaking Fergie at the Stacey-ish. bone shed. And it's like doom, 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 doom. smoking hot Stacy first. And it's real From dope. the Black Eyed Peas. And he's just like, hey, we're serving inside tonight. Best barbecue in Texas. She's like, oh, it overheated. I don't even care about your body. Straight here. radiator cap. And he's just like, all right, I'll give you some of my she's water. She's like, no he's pressure. Like, she's like, <laughs> he's like, ain't nothing special about this water. I got it right there in the dam. It's got damn water, not even filtered. <laughs> it's got, my, like, bu- it's okay. got my butt fingers she's all over it. She's like, thanks, JT. Thanks, so she, JT. So then he, she goes to leave, and he's just like, now that right there is a rump roast. That yeah. line's hilarious. And then he eats his barbecue sauce. He's like, ah. His famous Texas barbecue. So then we freaking, it cuts over. We meet the couple, Doc Block and Dakota. And it cuts to them, like, her opening up the street. They're a typical freaking American couple. They wake Don't up get at along, night. hate each other. They wake up for the early, the night shift. Night yeah, they shift. wake up for the night shift. Yeah, and she's and, uh, freaking looking out the window. And it's the moon it's, shot of the green and toxin, the green toxin DC2, DC2 going DC2 over the moon. going all over, Beautiful otherwise show. known as Project Terror. You know, and then, uh... A design populist take over the area. And that's when freaking, uh... With gas. Dark Block's just like, coffee. <laughs> and, it, <laughs> and it cuts to the kitchen. Dark Block's like, and, coffee. And to this point, this could still be like, take place in the 70s or whatnot. Until, like, you see Dakota, like, texting. Yeah, she's texting her like, Sally while she's talking on the phone to the babysitter. Like, I've been here tonight to pick, 
She's like, be here tonight. She's like, this Watch is Tony. it. This is, the, this is the climax of our relationship. Watch Tony, it's my over boy. tonight because it's a movie. So then uh, it establishes that she's, you know, talking to the babysitter. They're going to work and freaking. And the, and the husband comes down. He's like, who was that? And he's all suspicious. So they're establishing that, you know, they got a little beef going on, the wife and the husband. And the little kid is Robert Rodriguez's he's kid. Like, I lost a tooth. As everyone knows. And he's like, oh, wow. No comment. He's like, say a prayer for me. So no dead bodies for that And he's tonight. just like. No prayer, no dead bodies for that. The thing. freaking token badass of the action movie, El Rey. He's like a mercenary ex con. Yeah, and it's like, doom, 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 doom. The mystery behind gets, his character. He gets out of his record and he shows about the bar, the bone shack, the barbecue shop. All right, we're going to go to part two in depth horror discussion on Planet Terror. Check it 2007, out. 2007, the Grindhouse Experience. Breaking out, scene lesson. Mr. Creepshow 9. JBM 2005.